how long it's going to take the duck eggs to hatch, um, what they're called when they are born. We have little ducklings, how it is a long wait, but we have a lot of responsibility for them. And today, I said I was going to introduce you to the incubator. So I didn't even take it out of the box yet because I wanted you guys all to be here for that. So let me show you what we have. There are a lot of things in this box we're going to need once our duckies hatch. But for right now, what I need is this little box. So this is what our incubator comes in. So we have to be very careful with an incubator. for the incubator but if he was laying in the incubator here and he laid like that for 28 days it's actually not healthy for our duck to stay just like that the whole time he's not going to develop on every side he needs to turn over and so a mummy duck in the wild would hop on her nest and she'd use her feet and kind of roll her eggs and then sit on them again to keep them warm keep them warm and then she would get up and she would roll them again with her little feet and she would sit on them to keep them warm. Well, we don't have a mummy duck to do that with our eggs. We have an incubator is going to be our mummy duck. So our incubator is what's going to turn them over while they're in there. It also has this funny part here and this is actually where we put water. Why do you think we need water for duck eggs? They're not gonna drink yet because they're still in the egg. But where do mummies and daddy ducks live? Do they live in our houses or in a field? No, they live around water. Ducks are wet. And so a mummy duck would go swimming. I'll put her back here. A mummy duck would go swim, swim, swim. And then she would come all wet and sit on her eggs. And this would make the eggs all wet and humid. That's the word we're looking for here, humid. Everything gets very humid and it softens the shells for them, which makes it easier for them to hatch out. I'm gonna put our lid back on here. And let's take a look at our book for a second. So grab your hatching journal, and once you've got it, open it up to the page with the picture of the incubator on it. So the first thing on this page, it says, we have to keep the eggs, and do we have to keep them warm, or do we have to keep them cold? Well, our incubator is actually gonna keep them warm. It acts like a little heater, like the little mummy sitting on those eggs. It's gonna keep them warm. So circle that word warm with the w, 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 the W on it. Circle that word and then let's move on to the next question. The next question asks, we keep some what in the incubator? What is it that we pour into the incubator to keep our eggs wet, to keep the humidity up? we keep some water in the incubator. We're gonna write the word water on that line. But why do we keep water in the incubator? It's so that the eggs don't get too dry. We need our eggs to stay wet so they're softer than our normal hard grocery store eggs. Cause that's gonna be way too hard for our little duckies with their soft little bills to peck out of. So we keep water in the incubator so the eggs don't get too dry. I put a picture of our very own incubator right there for you with seven eggs in it. And just like I showed you before, I don't have to turn the eggs because the machine does it all for us we have an automatic turner. So you can color in that little box right there to say, yes, we do. When I go to put the duck eggs in the incubator, it's really important that I wash my hands. That's our word there. I have to wash my hands so that I don't get any of my germs on the eggs 
and hurt those little duckies. And it's also important that the duck eggs don't give me any germs either. Just like at home, I hope you guys are washing your hands a lot too to stop the spread of germs. We wash our hands to prevent the spread of harmful bacteria or germs to the eggs. Another big word for germs is bacteria. So we're gonna write that big word on the last line. Remember, if you need some extra time to get all that writing in, just pause the video, copy those words, and then start playing it again when you're ready and we'll go back to the incubator. Welcome back. So Herb and I are here at the incubator. We have learned so much about our incubator and how to keep our duckies safe. We learned that we need to keep our ducks warm. Those eggs have to be kept warm and our incubator does that. If you could feel it here on the outside, you'd feel it's already warm. I plugged it in today because I got to get it all nice and ready for them to come tomorrow. Inside all that little black wire, whoop. well that's pretty special. You can see it turn. You see it spinning. Well, that was perfect timing. There you are, so that is how our eggs are gonna turn. Did you hear that big loud noise that happened and then the whole bottom part spun? So our eggs would be laying flat in there and it would kind of roll them over. So this big thing that you saw in there turning is actually what I'm using right now to make sure that it's the right temperature and that it's the right wetness for our duck eggs. I gotta make sure it's all ready for them to come tomorrow. So we have our incubator all set up and ready. Over here in the back is where I put the water in this little cup here. I pour my bottle of water in there and it goes underneath it and comes into this middle part. Kind of very center of it is where all the water goes and it keeps it nice and moist for our duck eggs. Um, we know that we have the automatic turner. We just got to see that, which is super cool. And I know that I have to wash my hands before I touch the eggs or even the ducks. If we do get to play with the ducks, it's important that we keep our hands clean. Just make sure that we don't give them germs and they don't give us germs. So come on back tomorrow afternoon. We're going to get our duck eggs tomorrow and we'll get to put them in the incubator together. And I'll teach you all about those eggs tomorrow. I can't wait. See you then.